The universe is a wonderful thing. The universe will give you anything you want, but you have to know how to ask for it the correct way. A lot of people wonder about this. They, they watch movies like The Secret and they think, you know, you just ask for it. And just asking isn't enough. I mean, we ask for things all the time, don't we? And nothing happens. Then we end up saying, oh, this stuff doesn't work, you know? And then we, you know, in our journey of enlightenment, we may take a step forward every now and then, but then we end up taking two steps back because, you know, things don't work. And, you know, it just pulls you back. It pulls you back, back into the way things used to be. But you don't want to go there. You want to go forward. Now, listen, there's one thing you have to remember about this reality. Everything is good. Everything is an amazing creation. Even if you're going through tough times right now, this is all a creation of consciousness, okay? There really is no good or bad. You can judge it all you want. You can judge things as good, bad, desirable, not desirable. But from a cosmic creation standpoint, it's all good. It's, it's just different, okay? So you can try to wrap your head around that. But in this reality, we do judge things as good or bad. Let's face it. No one wants to be homeless living in a subway station, right? We want to uh, have nice places to live, preferably a mansion, right? Maybe you don't want that, but a lot of people do. But from a cosmic standpoint, from a standpoint of your higher self, it is just as difficult or wonderful or whatever to create that homeless person living in the subway, that life versus a billionaire. You know, and I know that's hard for some people to understand. How could you say that? Well, it's the same. If you look at the atoms that are arranged, you look at the matter. I mean, look at creation, look at, look around you, you know, it's just atoms arranged in certain ways. It's matter arranged in certain ways. And it doesn't really matter how it's arranged. It's still an amazing creation. When you look at it, you know, your consciousness created that subway station or that scene in front of you, that whatever it is, a uh, homeless shelter, right? From a, 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 a matter arrangement standpoint, right? The arrangement of the atoms, it's just, it's the same thing really to create that versus to create a millionaire's or a billionaire's mansion. It's just stuff. It's just matter arranged in certain ways. If you, if you, you know, think about that, you'll come to the same conclusion. That really is the same from that perspective. Now, let's face it, from our limited perspective, living in this reality, you know, it's, it's more fun living the, the billionaire's life. You know, we, we want to have our privacy, our own place, uh, preferably a luxurious place, whatever. So anyway, that's what all this stuff ends up uh, looking at, right? Because that's what people really want. Um, so how come we don't all live in mansions? Well, you know, we're programmed from a young age. We, we come here to live in limitation. You know, we are expanded, infinite beings. And in the other dimensions of existence, you know, we can have whatever we want. There's no physical body. You know, we can we can imagine, boom, it's right there. So we, we're like these these beings. But when we come to this dense reality, it's, it's, you know, it's a different physics, whatever you want to call it. So we come here to, to uh, enjoy limiting ourselves, you know. Um, but it's also fun to play the limitation game for a while and then wake up from it. That, that's that's an enormously fun game that we've learned uh, is is very stimulating. So not everybody is in that phase, you know, not everybody's in that phase. So one of the takeaways from this is don't judge other people. Don't judge other people by how their life looks. Don't, you know, walk down the street and see some homeless guy there and judge him as you know, in, in, a, in a poor way. Um, he's here to have that experience. And knowing that, you can choose whether or not to 
you know, help him out in some way uh, to show some, uh, you know, uh, some love to that fellow being. Okay, but don't judge them poorly. That's that's not what no, you shouldn't do that. Um, so anyway, the universe is an amazing thing, and you have to ask. You have to ask. You have to know how to ask, right? So basically, putting things in the form of a question is a very good way to go about it. All right. You, you know what? Why? Why am I a millionaire? Why am I so rich? You know, when, when you're in a certain stage of, of the, the game, it's better to put it in the form of a question. If you're more advanced in, you, in your journey and you know you're very confident of your creative ability, then you can just say it. You know, I am so rich. You know, I am a lottery winner. I am, uh, my income is always and forever increasing. But if you're not there yet, it might be better as a question. Universe, why is my uh, income always and forever increasing? Why am I so abundant? Why am I so rich? Um, you know, stuff like that. Why is my uh, whatever? You know, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get across here. You know, why is my new car in the driveway, you know, whatever, and you can state what it is, you know, um, but you have to be persistent with this stuff. You can't say, well, after a day or a few weeks, this didn't pan out, it didn't show up, oh, this doesn't work, boom, two steps back, because you'll just keep shooting yourself in the foot, and you don't really want to do that, okay? Um... You have to be confident that this process works. You have to be confident in how thoughts become things. You know, thoughts become things. You know, consciousness. Consciousness can affect matter, can affect those atoms, right? You've got this whole quantum stuff going on there, this spooky action at a distance, as Einstein liked to call it. Um, you know, they're, they're finding out more and more that reality is stranger than we ever thought. We thought things were normal, but they're not. Even the scientists are starting to get a little spooked by this stuff. Um, just like Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. <clears throat> so... They've got experiments where, you know, thought, consciousness affects the outcome, affects those particles, you know, it's waves and then it's particles. Particles are things, it's matter. So your consciousness can affect your outcome and you have to hook in through your subconscious mind. See, your conscious mind, your ego, is the thing that is going to sabotage you because it's always questioning, it's always thinking, you know, am I doing this right? Am I going down a rabbit hole that, you know, am I being gullible? You know, that sort of thing. <clears throat> so your, 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 your conscious mind will, you know, it, it needs to figure things out. But your subconscious mind doesn't need to, it, it, it will figure things out without you having to consciously figure it out. And that's where you want to be. You know, you can, you can work your butt off, you know, you can work your butt off in order to say, create a business and do whatever to create, you know, mountains of wealth, you know, it may or may not work out. And I'm not saying in your conscious, conscious waking hours to not do that we all have to be doing something in our conscious hours whether it's working at a job or a career or creative endeavors that's all great I'm not speaking against that but what I'm saying is don't ignore the conscious mind and the conscious I mean, rather the subconscious mind don't ignore the subconscious mind the subconscious is your key to the infinite to the universe to your higher self all right and and your your 
subconscious believes everything you tell it. So when you say, you know, I am rich, I am wealthy, I am abundant, or you ask, you put it in the form of the question so that it goes through your subconscious out there, you know, why am I so abundant? Why am I so successful? Why is my income always and forever expanding? You know, these are, these are things that, and, and also around the time you wake up and go to sleep when your brain is in that, that, you know, that theta state is a great time to do that. And another great thing is to speak it out loud the way I'm doing now, not just in your head, you know, and if you're worried about what people around you are going to think, like, you know, if you don't live alone, you have a family, go, go into the garage or somewhere and do it. And, you know, you don't have to scream it. You can speak it softly so no one hears you, you know, if that's what you're worried about, you know. So people don't think you're some crazy person who's talking to yourself. Uh, but you can still do it. Don't make excuses, you know. So just wanted to say, you know, the universe is a fantastic, fantastic resource that we have it, it, it's all that is i mean the universe the force it connects everyone everything in this this universe is connected consciousness creates and and establishes and connects everything in the universe all conscious beings are plugged into this so there really is a force there really is a force um like in those movies and uh we need to learn how to really consciously, deliberately mold that. And we're slowly growing into that. And some of us will bring the rest of us along as we wake up to this potential. All right, so, so try it. Try out these things. Try them out on your own. Be persistent, but that's the key. You have to be persistent. You can't give up. You know, you can't be impatient or intolerant. You know, it's okay. We're all in this together. <laughs>